Today I'm going to show you how to remove a subject from a green screen background and place them into a digital background that you may have downloaded on Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. The first thing you want to do is go to select, go to color range, and I had this uh, done earlier, or I did this earlier, so it's um, already selected on mine. But what you'll do is you'll click shift and you'll click around the green on your picture to make sure you get all the different shades of green. And you want your um, little sample over here to look like mine to where the subject that you want to cut out of the picture is just a silhouette. Then you'll click OK. And you see you've got the marching ants all around and you don't see any marching ants in the green screen so that's pretty good. Uh, then you're going to add a black layer mask and I use a Mac so I clip, click option and I think that that translates to um, the alt key in Windows and then click add mask. And then you see that it pulls away all of the uh, green screen. It just cuts it right out for me or paints over it with a black mask or, or whatever it does. Anyway. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, command click add layer and command in Mac. I'm not sure exactly what that is in Windows. Um, it may be control and there, there may be a command button in Windows. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it just adds you a layer. Then you go to edit, fill, 50% gray. Now we add the gray so we can see if we missed anything with our um, cutout here. So we'll go to our black layer mask and we'll make sure that we have a black brush selected and we can paint away any uh, discolorations that are left in our background there. Um, they could just be from uh, a different shade of green or it could have been a little bit darker and we didn't want to remove that darker off of our subject. It looks like it did a really good job on this particular picture so we're going to move forward. Uh, from there you're going to go to add hue and saturation adjustment layer and that's to try to pull a little bit of this residual green that was left on our subject. So you go right here to this half shaded circle and then up to hue and saturation and to make sure that this only applies it to our working layer, not our gray background, we're going to click on this box that has this bent arrow coming off the side of it. And then we can see that it has it right there pointing down at our, um, our colored layer. All right. So you're going to go up here where it says master. You're going to click your drop arrow and you're going to go to greens. In greens, you're just going to bring the saturation down not a lot of green left over in my picture and I'm going onto a picture that has a lot of green so I'm not super worried about the little bit of green that's left uh, and then in the yellows we're gonna adjust the yellow to bring back some color into his skin where we take taking the green out all right once that's done we can just close that um, and then we're going to go to the layer mask and make sure we click on that. And we're going to go to filter up here and go to other. And we're going to go to minimum and click on minimum. I usually do this about two pixels. That just brings it, scales it back a little bit, uh, takes out some of that green on the edge and makes the edge a little bit, uh, Less refined by two pixels anyway. And then we're going to go to blur, or I'm sorry, filter, and then blur, and Gaussian blur. And I usually set that around one. And that just takes off that little bit of extra green that was left on the edge. All right, then we're going to click shift. And click on our hue and saturation layer to make sure both of those are selected. 
grab your move tool and drag your uh, subject to your new picture and just drop them. Command T for transform and then shift and grab your edge to make sure it maintains its size. And you can drop him in this picture however you want. All right, that looks pretty good. There like that. All right, and then it looks like I missed a layer here of green that I didn't see in the picture. That's a really simple fix. Just go to your eraser. Click on just that layer, bam, gone. Just like it was never there. But make sure you're just on this layer because if you happen to click on the background, it's gonna take uh, the background layer off. All right, um, from here you can make adjustments if you wanna make this picture blend in a little bit different to the background. Um, we can just go to filter and I'll usually just go to camera raw filter and my picture is a little bit lighter there so I want to bring his exposure down just a little and then click OK that way it kind of blends into the background a little bit better because it's a darker night uh, those those little things you'll touch up on your own um, Put a layer flatten image and then you can actually work on it as one and uh, make your corrections in camera raw filter that make it work best for the image that you're working on however you want that to be everybody has their own different styles so this part's completely up to you just play around with it and enjoy your uh, newfound ability to work with green screens Thanks for watching.